This video will cover the topic, Writing and Evaluating a Function that Models a Real-World Situation, Advanced. I've done some problems involving models before, but what do questions in this topic look like? Let's jump right into an example problem. Jane is putting money into a savings account. She starts with $350 in the savings account, and each week she adds $40. Let S represent the total amount of money in the savings account in dollars, and let W represent the number of weeks Jane has been adding money. Write an equation relating S to W. Then use this equation to find the total amount of money in the savings account after 14 weeks. That's a lot of information. How do we make sense of it all? We see that S represents the total amount of money in the savings account. Since our goal is to find the total amount of money in the savings account after 14 weeks, we will want to solve for s, so we write s by itself on the left side of our equation. We also know that Jane starts with $350 in the savings account. This means that no matter how many weeks has gone by, she has at least her initial amount of $350, plus the money that she adds each week. But since she adds money each week, the amount of money she has put into the savings account changes over time. How do we represent that in our equation? Let's say that Jane now starts to add money to the savings account. We know that each week she adds $40. So let's consider a few specific cases. After zero weeks, the total amount of money will be S equals 350 plus 40 times zero because she hasn't put any deposits of $40 in yet. When we simplify this, we get that S equals 350. S is measured in dollars, so this tells us that after zero weeks, Jane has $350 in her savings account. After one week, the total amount of money will be S equals 350 plus 40 times one, because she will have put one weekly deposit of $40 in. When we simplify this, we see that S equals 390. After two weeks, the total amount of money will be S equals 350 plus 40 times 2, because she will have put two weekly deposits of $40 in, and this equals 430. After five weeks, the total amount of money will be S equals 350 plus 40 times 5, because she will have put five weekly deposits of $40 in, and this equals 550. These examples can help us find the total amount of money in Jane's savings account after W weeks. Looking at these cases, we can see that after W weeks, the total amount of money will be S equals 350 plus 40W. To find the total amount of money after 14 weeks, we set w equal to 14. So after 14 weeks, the total amount of money will be s equals 350 plus 40 times 14, and when we simplify this, we get s equals 910. This tells us that after 14 weeks, Jane has $910 in her savings account. I think I understand now. So to write and evaluate a function that models a real-world situation, we use the information given to us in the question to first determine a function that represents the problem at hand. Then using the equation along with given information, we solve for the unknown variable. That's exactly right. You seem to be getting the hang of this topic. 